The Mercedes F1 team has had its ups and downs in the past two seasons, mostly downs, and that seems to have taken the toll on the ownership of the team. Toto Wolff is now considering selling Mercedes. According to close sources to the team and Sky F1 pundit, the amount of money he's set to bank in is enormous. Owning a third of one of the most successful teams in the history of the sport is not a small thing to brag about, and Wolf knows that better than anybody else. So in case he opts out for this scenario, after the two failed seasons with Mercedes, are we going to see a huge shakeup in F1? And more importantly, what would that mean for the drivers and the team in general? Owning a team in Formula 1 is a lucrative business in of itself, and even having a third of a team is something that would definitely put you on the list of the world's highest earning individuals. So so it's no surprise that the news of Wolf potentially thinking about selling his share in Mercedes, one that's estimated at around $3 billion, came as a shock to the entire F1 world amid the growth of the business in the USA. But what goes up has to come down, and many experts believe that this is the current case with the F1 teams and market, and they've reached their peak, and from this point on, it would only go down in terms of team's value. F1 is one of the most exclusive sports on the planet, having only 10 teams and earning billions of dollars in revenue and price money, making it one of the most wanted business investments for the outsiders of this sport. However, paying around $800 million for a buyout on a team that's currently a back marker, Alpha Tauri, just goes to show that maybe the financial investment is not going to be one that would pay up long term, and that's why the financial experts are worried about the longevity of the sport's investment. Craig Slater from Sky F1 has spoken about Toto Wolff's potential actions, maybe motivated by the potential entrance of Andretti and Cadillac into the sport, as he believes that the current surge in F1's popularity might be short-lived with all the one-sided dominance from Verstappen and Red Bull. Elaborating on this matter even further, Slater went on to say, One or two well-placed insiders have told me that maybe some ownership within Formula 1 have looked at the value of their team has increased and have asked the question, has the sport peaked? Might this be not a bad time to kind of sell out? If you're talking about Williams being sold for about £140 million and now being worth towards maybe even a billion pounds, never mind dollars nowadays. It's interesting that the Andretti family have tried to get it, maybe would be put off by the price tag of buying a team. Are they good value to buy right now an F1 team? Why are the big sovereign funds, and I suppose people are talking about the rumours of Aramco buying Aston Martin from Lawrence Stroll and paying top dollar for that? Of course, we can never forget the fact that Lawrence Stroll has been rumoured to sell Aston Martin due to the fact that his son's underperformance and his ex-wife's influence on Lance to quit the sport and do something else with his life rather than risk it every other weekend are present to this day. And according to Slater, it does show that the sport has reached its peak in terms of financial value. The American market has just been busted open by the new tracks in Miami and Las Vegas, and if Andretti is to make an entrance in F1, then it would definitely increase the interest from investors all over the North American continent. However, there comes a certain time when you need to ask yourself, when is enough enough? The FIA's president, Ben Mohamed Sulayem, has also warned F1 not to overprice the sport after rumours about a potential sale to a Saudi Arabian investment fund were rejected by Liberty Media for a staggering $20 billion, as the American company said that this is nowhere near their wanted price. Now, we know how important artificial intelligence is and how teams operate, but the F1 experts have used it in a different niche as well, determining the peak of the sport and the foreseeable future of it. According to Buzz Radar, which is a high Wickham UK registered data analysis company, F1 has reached its peak in 2022, and when elaborating on this matter even further, their report said, Using AI pattern detection and predictive intelligence, our team can determine with a strong degree of confidence that 2022 22 was a peak in F1 popularity for the foreseeable future, and we're now on a downward trajectory. We predict a steady decline in F1 interest online until the domination of Max Verstappen and Red Bull ends and competition closes up. Our predictive model estimates that F1 could lose as much as 50% of the new audience it's gained by 2024 if the same driver continues to dominate the sport. One-sided domination is indeed what tampered with the sport's popularity from 2014 to 2020. 20, with 2016 being the only exception where two teammates managed to battle it down to the last 
last race and Rosberg won for a change. But other than that, it was mostly a one-sided Hamilton domination for all those years. Be that as it may, we might be entering yet another era in which we lack the ones we saw in 2007, 2008, 2010, 2012 and 2021 most recently. So is this something that would put Wolf out there on the market trying to sell the stakes in Mercedes? This has become a question that is much more than performance and sport, and something that's related to the business view of this entire scenario. If Wolf is to decide that enough is enough when it comes to owning a piece of Mercedes, a large piece if I may add, that does not mean he'll step down as a team principal of the sport. It just means that he used his shares in a very intelligent way, made up quite a few bucks, and will now try some other business adventures while still holding his work position, which is the team principal of Mercedes. There's still a lot of unfinished business in Mercedes as we speak, and getting back into competition is definitely something that they have on their agenda from 2024 onwards. Having not won a race in 2023 was definitely the down point of their entire existence, and with only eight podium finishes, the fewest since 2012, when they only had three, and even one of those was a win by Rosberg in China, this is definitely something that needs to change if Wolf wants to see his survival in the team being eminent. That is why a lot of hope is being put in the W15. But narrowing down such a gap is not something you could do in a short time span of three months, and Mercedes, out of all the other teams, know this better than anybody else. Being competitive is definitely the goal for 2024, and closing down the gap for 2025 might be the long-term solution for Mercedes upgrades and new direction. But that alone may not be enough for the team to stick up together with all of its sponsors and all of its financial weight. I mentioned early in this video that the arrival of Andretti Cadillac is definitely something that has the potential to shift up the entire financial landscape of F1, and with Wolf being one of the fiercest antagonists when it comes to this scenario actually happening in real life, it could very well mean that he's considering selling the shares and not being involved in the owners' lives of the Brackley-based team. The fact that Wolf invested in Mercedes a long time ago, when the team has still not reached its peak, means that the value of his shares has grown exponentially, something that Slater believes would put Wolf in a lot of thoughts when it comes to selling them and making a huge profit. Elaborating on this matter further, he went on to say, If you were Doralton or Toto Wolf or Lawrence Stroll who bought it via liquidation, yes, he paid off a lot of the creditors, but you maybe paid a couple of hundred million, or I think Toto paid 50 million euros for his stay it's now worth 3 billion or whatever. Does that have its own incentive to sell, when in a few years you made such a big gain? Which is why I question, it must be quite tempting for some of these owners to maybe think about offloading it in the present climate, which is certainly benign compared to where it was a few years ago. So with this in mind, do you think that Wolf will sell his stake in Mercedes F1? Let us know in the comments down below.